I made a video last week attacking Nikon for the 105 f 1.4 that they're about to roll out here in a couple weeks. Um, some Nikon ambassadors who are uh, puppets for Nikon, and that's fine. You know, every company has them. Uh, some images are spitting out. Okay, now Nikon hired these people to be able to take a photograph. Okay, but it's kind of like giving a master barber uh, a pair of uh, dull shears, scissors to cut hair that like have, <laughs> you know, you get the analogy, right? Um, I saw some of the new image, the, the, the first batch of images from a few different people a week or so ago were absolutely horrible enough. I just saw an image from an Nikon ambassador um, and I'm not talking about the image itself or the child in the image. I'm talking about what the lens actually rendered, okay? I'm not talking about the composition. I'm not talking about the facial pose. I'm talking about what the lens actually spit out. Um, was so horrible, I almost crapped an igloo right on the spot. I mean, I saw this this person's images. I mean, you know, Nikon... Actually, there are two people that should not be Nikon ambassadors. They were hired because one of them is extremely pretty, and it's like, yeah, baby. And I understand that. This person's images are, uh, you know, they're they're not exactly my forte, but they're they're very nice images. This one image is just so horrible. Hey, ask me for the link. I'll, I'll give you a link to it. And listen, this is not a slant on the photographer at all, nor uh, his work. It's a slant on the image. And there's this long diatribe underneath the picture about why, oh, this lens is so sharp and this is why I love photography. Listen, okay? I don't care if it's Sony's ambassadors or Nikon's ambassadors, but people like that you do not listen to. They are like pitch men um, uh, for a car, you know, that go around like, this is the new Pontiac, and it, nothing they say you, you can listen to. And, uh, people, this is the stupid mistake that you and a lot of people, maybe not you, a lot of people make mistake that they make, is that you think that, well, this person's an ambassador, they're well established, they were a photojournalist for a number of years, and, you know, one, one of them may or may not have a book or two on photography, and, uh, you know, they're, you know, they're respected. Do you know what that really means as far as what the hell they know about what is a good lens or an, a bad lens? It doesn't mean Jack S-H-I-T. It does not. Even back in photography school, some of these people that were world-renowned and their work was really good. You know, it's like, you know, there's no denying that's some awesome work. These people, you know, and, you know, gear only goes so far. You know, photography is not about gear. It's about making beautiful artwork. And I've said this before a million times, you know, you could give uh, the best professional a crap lens and, you know, they'll uh, make honey out of it pretty much. But that doesn't mean that you should take their recommendation on buying a lens. I mean, this lens is, this image is just horrible. And I know this person knows how to use a camera. Ironically enough, I looked at some of the pictures taken like a week or two before that they were uploaded, and they were taken with this lens by that photographer. This isn't this isn't a super zoom. It's an ultra zoom. It's the it's a thousand dollar lens. It's got 19 elements in it. This is the 28 to 300 Nikkor. The images now. See, this is the point. The images from this, while they were heavily processed in Photoshop, the images from this were incredible. Okay, when you have a lens that is so bad that the uh, Nikon ambassador's images taken prior to this portrait shots are, uh, you know, exquisite by comparison. You know, that new lens, that 105 f1.4, uh, for 2300 bucks, basically. My God, that image, would just it just made me want to, you know, squat an igloo. It, it's just horrible. Bad micro contrast, flatter than a pancake. Horrible, horrible local contrast just bad and the bokeh too and, and the other big it has obloidal obloidal bokeh not a very desirable characteristic you, you see what you're missing is is that that nikon designed this lens 
this lens was uh, an answer to a question nobody was asking. Nikon designed this lens as a hubristic ego trip. It's like, Nikon, we have just come out with the fastest 105 portraiture lens in the world! It's the 1 f1.4, 105 Nikkor. <sighs> that lens, compared to a lens that costs a third as much, which is the 105 f2 DC Nikkor, that lens is exquisite. That lens has one third as much glass. You know, as soon as I get my hands on that lens, people will say, "Well, you don't have your hands on that lens." It's like, what do you, you know? I've there's all these, um, you know, supposed uh, experts, uh, photographers that are posting images with that lens that Nikon's giving them to. You think those images aren't evidence enough? You know, uh, I've already looked at a dozen different sources of people that have that lens in their hand right now, and they are displaying the best of the... I mean, you know they've cranked out thousands of images with the lens. Every professional photographer does this, by the way, and I've shot with some of them. Oh, yes, I have. And they spit out a lot of crap um, between, you know, the perfect shots. You know, if they're taking a modeling shot, you know, be crap, 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 you know, be a bunch of... They're only posting the best of what they consider as the output of that lens, the best. You know, no professional photographer, when they go out and take a photo shoot, you know, they're cranking out a few hundred shots, if not more. You know, out of that few hundred, you know, they're posting three, four, five, ten shots, maybe. Maybe 20 at max out of, you know, 400 to five, 600 shots. Depends on the photographer. So these are the best from the people that are assumed to be the best. It's like if that isn't evidence enough that this lens sucks, then nothing else will prove it to you. I mean, I just couldn't believe how horrible this image is. I don't mean the actual picture of the child or the composition or the facial pose. I'm talking about what the, the lens actually, you know, spit out. My God. Nikon, please, Nikon, why don't you take some of those old farts you put out to pasture in Japan that used to make really good lenses, like the D-series uh, lenses? You know, you you people out there are actually mostly responsible for these uh, crap lenses that uh, Nikon and Zeiss are spitting out because you're demanding zero chromatic aberration, you know, perfect corner to corner, no vignetting. You people are actually largely responsible for the, the uh, I'm going to invent a new word here, the crapization of lenses, the, the bastardization of lenses. It's, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like, if, and I hate to say this, but it's true. It's kind of like if you stuck a, a, a pile of dumb rednecks into like a luxury meat bar. And what they'll do is they have aged steaks, and then they'll like sear it, and it'll be like crispy, super well done on the corners, but the inside will be bleeding, you know, kind of like almost raw. Um, you know, a professional, and you're like, oh, no, 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 this isn't going to do, you know. This thing is like burned on the outside corners, and it's like basically raw. In the it's like, no, this is a professional steakhouse, bud. You know, this is filet mignon. This is how like... You know, master, five-star gold chef. In the back. No, 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 this crap ain't going to work. You all were responsible for, like, twisting the arm of Nikon and Zeiss and these other people to, like, okay, we're going to homogenize everything so that, you know, it's not going to be raw in the center and burnt, you know. And so they're spitting out these over-processed lenses, and they're designing lenses that over-process the light. It's just like sticking meat through a, a grinder at McDonald's. You know, and it just craps out this homogenous lump at the other end. And um, you people really are responsible for the bastardization. Not meaning you people watching this video, but meaning you people in general. You are responsible for Nikon pulling this crap. And it is not simply the advancement of higher megapixel uh, camera. Because... You know, these Voigtlanders, these old Voigtlanders and Zeiss lenses and the old Nikkor lenses that have a little bit of vignetting and chromatic, you know, they, they render perfectly, beautifully, exquisitely, magnifique, par excellence, on high megapixel Canons and Nikon. So don't give me that as a BS excuse. Man, that picture, that just, you know, there were a bunch of pictures that recently came out. Again, there's been a new dump of images. And my God, I mean, if ever there was an example of just a total trash lens 
you know, that just performs like a rabid, rancid dog that like has, uh, you know, uh, festering boils on its, uh, its uh, anal orifice, it's this lens. Oh, my God. Just ask me and I'll post the link below. This is no slant against the photographer or the photographer's work, okay? I'm talking about what this lens is dumping out, okay? So I'm not talking about a photographer or the photographer's work, okay? Can I make that clear? Can I make it clear enough? You people, you, you like, you're, the, you're like the people that go to these uh, racetracks and... You know, you take the advice uh, on a, a car or a good engine from people that are like famous race car drivers. Not that I've ever been to an event like that. It's like, no, the guys that actually know about what are the best engines and cars and car design, those are the people that nobody knows anything about. They're like back in the pits, you know? Not the race car drivers. Because a race car driver can take an inferior car and just, you know, make it scream and, you know... The you know the performance won't be the best, but he'll still make it scream and impress a lot of people. Um, this is why you know a uh, a professional photographer with a crap lens will always do a far 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 superior job than a uh, a crummy photographer with a super awesome lens. And this is the mistake that you all really do make. Not meaning you people specifically, but meaning you people in general. My God, that image just made me you know. Wow. So they're making better lenses than this back in the 1950s. I mean, this, the image that this lens produced at F1.4, it reminds me of like a, a, a heat baked old Kodachrome image. Like, you ever shot, ever seen some like old Kodachrome and it was like stored in grandma's hot basement? And then it kind of got, kind of got like a film over it and it's like, what the hell? You know, something happened to this chrome, you know, it's kind of like color shifted and it's gotten funkadelically ugly and not in a good way. And this is from a brand new lens design that's $2,300. Epic fail on you, Nikon. You know, bring up back those old dudes you put out the pasture that know what the hell a good lens is. Seriously. Bye.